Hi friends, how are you doing? This is Ilze B. I am a Latvian and I teach Latvian to English speakers. And if you follow me, you remember that last time when I had my video out, I told you that I bought a joke book and that I would be teaching you some Latvian through jokes. But today I don't feel like joking, really, because I'm thinking about what's happening in the world. And specifically, I'm really thinking about those wildfires in Greece that has taken already so many lives and in California that's spreading and it's also worse than previous wildfires and it has hit me also close to home because in Valdgale Pagast in Kurzeme where my sister and their family have their farm there is a big wildfire and you know if you have watched my videos before when I was traveling around Latvia and I visited my sister's farm you know that they have a lot of cows and my heart really sinks when I think about those animals in Greece or in California that die in wildfires and what could have happened to the farm if the fire in Valdgale Pagast wasn't put under control. It's really disastrous. And I thought that today I will teach you some words that are related to the word fire. And fire in Latvian is uguns. But when we say uguns in Latvian, we don't mean those bad fires, those wildfires or forest fires, because uguns is either a good word in Latvian or a neutral word. But when uguns or fire causes those calamities, then Latvians say that it's uguns graks, which in English means fire sin. Latvians then think of a fire as a sinner. So once more that word is uguns graks. It is a compound. It consists of the two words uguns which is a fire as I told you and graks which is a sin. But the people who fight the fire in English we say firefighters are not called firefighters in Latvian. They are called fire extinguishers. And in Latvian that is uguns dzēsēji, which is a plural word, uguns dzēsēji. In singular it would be uguns dzēsēs. Once more, uguns dzēsēs. But how do we call fire extinguishers? Well, we say uguns dzēšamie aparāti. Fire extinguishing devices. Uguns dzēšamie aparāti. When I told my husband what I am going to talk about in my today's video, then he suggested that I should talk about how Latvians say turn on the light. He found it interesting that many people call light uguns, not gaisma, which literally is the word light. So once more, gaisma is light. But in the expression turn on the light, Latvians sometimes say iedēdz uguni. Iedēdz uguni which means start the fire. So he thought that that was interesting. But we can also say iedēdz gaismu, which would probably be more correct. However, the word iedēdz still refers to the word fire because dekt means to burn and iedēdz literally means start the fire. We don't usually say turn on the light. So like I said, dekt means to burn. And what can burn? 
fire can burn, but when people burn something, for instance, when we burn paper, we usually use the word dedzinat. Iededzini gaismu. There is another word that means the same as iededzinat or iedekt. And that word is iakurt. And we usually use this word together with the word that means stove. So the phrase would be iakur pliti. But this really would be used only for those stoves in which we use firewood and fire. If we say turn on the stove, we can say iesolēdz plīti, which means switch on the stove. I like thinking about words and what parts they consist of. And I have a course, Latvian for English speakers, where I explain these prepositions and other parts of Latvian words and then Latvian starts making sense. I'm going to start a new session on September the 1st, so if you are interested, please check out my website. But before I finish, I'll remind you that you can get all the notes, all the words that I was discussing today in the description of this video. Just click on the link and then you will be able to download them. They are absolutely free and I'll be happy if you benefit from these lessons. But now I'll say bye-bye, atta, be safe and till the next time.